Welcome to the ultimate exploration of automotive excellence. In this thrilling video, we dive deep into the future of driving with the groundbreaking Li Shong L9, a true marvel in the world of electric vehicles. Li Xuang L9 Presentation This suite encompasses Li Auto's navigation on autopilot, NOE, which requires activation on highways, seamlessly guiding the vehicle from toll gate to toll gate, capable of tracking the route and smoothly transitioning between highways, navigating around exit ramps. Additionally, there is Lane Keep Assist, LKA, designed primarily for elevated roads and those with central reservations, although it can be activated at any time. LKA performs minor steering adjustments and maintains a safe distance from vehicles ahead. Other features include Auto Park, Auto Valet Parking, allowing the vehicle to park itself, and Auto Emergency Braking. After the media presentation, we took the Li L9 for a spin, embarking on a 90-minute drive on the expressway, an ideal opportunity to let the navigation on autopilot NOE, showcase its capabilities. Throughout the drive, the system seamlessly integrated itself, smoothly transitioning between lanes and striving to maintain a consistent speed. The NOE feature in the L9 is designed to emulate typical driving habits in China. It tends to prefer the left-hand lane and, if it detects slower traffic ahead, becomes more eager to change lanes over time. Similar to a human driver stuck behind a vehicle going 80 km per hour on a 120 km per hour road, you instinctively start looking for an opportune moment to overtake and resume your journey. The Li Auto L9 demonstrates a higher level of confidence when changing lanes compared to other advanced driver assistance systems ADAS, I've encountered before. A significant issue with some of these systems is their hesitancy to accelerate while changing lanes. They prefer to change lanes first and then accelerate, occasionally leading to situations where they get stuck if oncoming vehicles are approaching in the desired lane. In contrast, the L9 smoothly transitions to another lane while simultaneously accelerating, resulting in much more assured and decisive lane changes. The navigation on autopilot NOE, feature proved to be more of an assistance than a hindrance. Some oddest features on other vehicles require more concentration than driving without them. They lack confidence, and users may be uncertain about their actions. This often leads me to disengage the system and take control myself. Li Auto emphasizes that if the driver feels compelled to take over due to frustration with the Odyssey system, it is considered a failure of the Odyssey system. I can attest that the Odyssey in the L9 was a pleasure to use during our test drive. Li L9's Driver Screens The Li L9 features several screens conveniently positioned for the driver's use. Directly in front is a vibrant 13.35-inch head-up display HUD, a compact 4.85-inch mini-LED panel in the steering wheel, and two large 15.7-inch 3K OLED infotainment screens on the dashboard. The hub provides clear and bright visuals, presenting essential driving information such as current speed, set nav, environmental perception for advanced driver assistance systems, ADAS, and road speed limits. Essentially serving as the instrument panel, it is well organized, allowing the driver to easily absorb the displayed information. The HUD also includes an auto-leveling feature, adjusting the positioning based on the driver's preference, although manual adjustments are possible as well. Initially, the mini-screen on the steering wheel may seem like a distracting novelty in an unconventional location. However, when in the driver's seat, its placement makes sense. The screen displays less immediate information, such as trip data, consumption details, state of charge, SOC, and fuel levels. It also includes a speedometer and indicates the current selected gear. To be honest, you don't need to consult this screen frequently, as the HUD handles the most immediate information. This mini steering wheel screen is used to toggle between hybrid and pure electric vehicle EV, modes. It also allows access to various trip information menus. Placing it within fingers reach makes it more convenient than delving into the infotainment screen to switch modes or navigate menus on your primary instrument panel. 
However, some may prefer a dedicated button for these functions. The infotainment screen is fully customizable through intuitive mechanics, much like an iPad. You have the option to display different tabs or focus on a specific element according to your preference. The visual graphics on this central screen are noticeably more graphically impressive than the HUD. A notable improvement in the Li Auto L9 compared to the Li One lies in its environmental representation. This enhancement is achieved through the utilization of dual Snapdragon 8155 computer chips. In the Li L9, vehicles smoothly navigate corners instead of simply sliding sideways, bicycle wheels realistically bend, and pedestrians exhibit a natural walking motion instead of being static figures eerily sliding along. I encountered several instances where vehicles were parked at 45 degree angles due to squeezing into tight spaces. The visual representation accurately portrayed them at a 45 degree angle, in contrast to other vehicles neatly aligned with the curb. Quite impressive. Lee L9 on street driving. The four cylinder 1.5 T Miller cycle engine is significantly quieter than the Lee One's three cylinder, with fewer vibrations. However, many critics seemed to jump on the bandwagon, condemning the Lee One's engine as excessively loud, akin to a washing machine on full spin. In reality, under normal driving conditions, the Lee One's engine was not as bad as portrayed by some. While it did have vibrations and noise typical of an engine, under full load, it was somewhat loud, but with music playing, it wasn't very noticeable. Having now experienced the Li One's engine, the Li L9's is undoubtedly superior. I often forgot the engine was running, even during regular acceleration. The only time any noise became noticeable was on a mountain road while accelerating. It's an engine, it makes noise. Duh. However, it was more subdued, with the noise relegated to the background compared to the Li One. Lee Auto claims that at a constant speed of 120 km per hour, the engine is quieter than a Tesla Model 3's motor. While we couldn't verify these claims without a decibel meter or a Model 3 for comparison, even if partially true, one can appreciate the quietness of this new four-cylinder engine. On the road, the air suspension and CDC perform admirably, providing an exceptionally comfortable ride. It's worth noting that the Lee L9 doesn't utilize comfort-oriented tires or have large sidewalls. It features 21-inch alloys fitted with 265-45 Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Considering that Lee Auto benchmarked the Lee L9 against the BMW X7 and Mercedes GLS, it was expected to deliver a smooth ride on the road. I will have a Liotto L9 for a more extended test drive at the end of the summer, and I plan to see how close I can get to the combined 1,100 km (684 miles) range. Having now driven the Li L9, the comfort and the navigation on autopilot (NOE) feature could make the drive truly enjoyable. Noah on, seat ventilation on, 10-point massage on, spatial sound on. I should be able to relax on that journey. Lee L9 Harsh Road Driving I'll preface this by stating that these vehicles aren't necessarily designed or marketed for off-road enthusiasts. However, the harsh road testing was exactly that, a challenging road. It wasn't an off-road course but rather a poorly maintained gravel road with potholes and bumps. This allowed us to assess how the air suspension and CDC of these three vehicles reacted at the more extreme ends of their luxury-oriented rides. Upon initially encountering a bump, both the Lee L9 and BMW X7 performed better than the Mercedes GLS, with their CDC systems cushioning the impact. The bumps were felt more pronouncedly inside the GLS cabin, accompanied by noticeable jolts. However, the Li L9 exhibited more controlled body movements than the BMW X7. While both vehicles allowed some pitching forward or backward after hitting a bump, the Li L9's air suspension caught the vehicle and returned it to a stable state much more rapidly, preventing significant secondary rebound and body shifts. In contrast, the BMW X7 seemed to struggle in maintaining composure. 
Although the Mercedes GLS displayed better body control than the BMW X7, it lacked the Lee L9's combination of softness and finesse. Indeed, the Lee Auto L9's air suspension and CDC demonstrated remarkable performance at the extremes, making both the X7 and GLS feel almost like novices in this test, novices that cost over two times the amount of the Lee L9. Unfortunately, we couldn't drive them back to back on the same road, so this might be an area where the BMW X7 and Mercedes GLS outshine the Lee Auto L9. The Verdict The Lee L9 lives up to expectations as an exceptional mid-size SUV. It offers an exceptional, comfortable, and serene driving experience on the road. I was well informed about the specifications of Lee Auto's Promotion Max before the drive, and I was not disappointed in the slightest. Admittedly, highway driving was not the most challenging scenario, given the splendid blue skies and exceptionally light traffic. I am eager to take it on a busy expressway during a more extended journey to see if it handles heavy traffic conditions with the same confidence.